Welcome back, Snack Pack, to another awesome episode of Posters on the Wall Simulator. No, just kidding. It is a PC building simulator. In the last one, you may remember that we got up to level 3. Um, in this one, we are going to try to do some more of these uh, contracts here, essentially. Um, most of them are pretty simple. I've kind of gone through a little bit further in my free time just to see kind of where stuff goes. And it does take kind of a weird twist. Um, where we have to actually get another let's see what it's like another tool yeah um, to be able to actually do the next couple steps um, so that'll be interesting once we actually get there I don't think it's right after these I think it's after the next part um, but right now we do need to upgrade Carrie Jarvis to 8 gigs of RAM uh, we have to complete it in 11 days which is cake um, run 3D markets in transit. Uh, we do need to upgrade the storage for Mr. Blake Patterberg at Movie Maniacs. And then we need to make sure that the sail away, uh, the guy can actually play sail away. So let's go ahead and move it on to the next day. Uh, whenever everything will come in, which will be on the 8th. Ooh, I didn't realize time flew that fast in the day. And now we're back at the office. And we've got the... Uh, that's the... Uh, the guy who wants to play Sail Away. And then we can upgrade that storage. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade this RAM real quick. Because it they actually have to run 3D Mark. So we kind of want to make sure that we get that all handled before we get any further. See, it does have a four gig of RAM already. Do we have any? We do not, and we do not have any storage either. We'll go ahead and grab memory. Let's see, which one did they have? I guess I should figure that out first. Uh, okay, so they did just have a basic one. We'll go ahead and add that. And then the other guy, I'll actually leave my cart there for the moment. We'll go ahead and drop this right out here. This guy needed more storage, which he just needs another terabyte. I'm pretty sure is what he said. Let's check. Uh, he needs a this one. Um, uh, yeah, another terabyte should do the trick is what he said. So we'll go into the shop here, storage, scroll on down. Grab him one of these Seagate Barracuda one terabytes, which are awesome, by the way. And since we know what that's going to be, we'll set it there. And then we need to check this guy's computer so we can make sure that he can actually run this, uh, this game that he actually wants, to, wants us to make sure that he can. And I'm pretty sure I know which graphics card I need to upgrade it to. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and turn it on. And that way we can test it. Oh, no, nope, gone too far install the USB drive because everything is on the USB drive as we know and we will run uh, will it run we'll add it because it tells you all the specs and everything of what you can actually run so that will be awesome um, and then we'll end up having to also install 3d mark which I may go ahead and do that that way it can already reset and everything we'll go ahead and install 3d mark if you guys are enjoying this series so far, let me know by leaving a like. I saw a huge spike in views whenever I actually put these two videos, uh, or the last two videos up um, last Saturday and Sunday. So I greatly appreciate everything for that because I kind of was expecting it, but then kind of wasn't because it was like the game did just come out like the, a couple days prior. So I was kind of expecting to be on the upper end of the slope. But it's like the first time I've actually been ahead of the curve on a game, like ever. Because I play Pokemon on the regular Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it's it's an older style of the Pokemon. It's not like Sun and Moon or Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, whichever. Uh, it's like a classic. <laughs> so, I mean, well, right now it's... Uh, I forget which one it is right now. <laughs> Now that I think about it, uh, let's see. So we need to upgrade this guy from his R9 280 to a GTX 10, ooh, a GTX 980. Let me go ahead and yank uh, this thing out here. We gotta unscrew the one screw and then remove the cord that automatically gets plugged in, which is handy still. Not gonna complain about that. 
Uh, with graphics card, he needs a GTX 980. So yeah, it was a 980, so we'll go ahead and toss that in our cart. Good lord, that's the only one that we have. Sheesh, that one's expensive. Well, either way, we gotta get it. Uh, we'll set everything for next day. We'll go ahead and close out of all that. We will plop yours right over here. Because right now we're currently just waiting for everything. I could technically make sure that they all boot to the OS. I mean, I, I haven't had a problem where they didn't before. So that's going to be a new thing whenever that happens. So we'll set this back out here. Since we know it can boot. And then we'll go ahead and boot this one up too. Just to appease the, the one little tick mark over there. Uh, and that one will actually need 3D marks. So let me go ahead. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to grab my USB. And, yup. Ooh, loudness. Let's go ahead and install 3D mark and then we will end this day so we can come back tomorrow with all our parts and then we can get to building some PCs. And our lovely boxes. And there's our RAM, our uh, hard drive, and our graphics card. So we'll go ahead and, since we've already got one set up here, gosh, I love this PC. It looks so sick. You just need the upgrade of RAM. Uh, memory and this one will zoom on in here unclick you and you since you are in the red slot most of the time it is more acceptable if you actually uh, keep them in the same slots if they're colored like that just because it they kind of work in tune with each other so if like I put one in here under a red slot and then one in a black slot it might not work the same way but I know that that should complete that, so I'll go ahead and pop this front case cover back on. I'll let it run through uh, 3D Mark there, and then we will get to our next computer. All right, so next one we're gonna do is the graphics card swap, so this guy can play uh, Sail Away. Graphics cards, we will pop him in this wonderful GTX 980. These graphics cards look sick. I love how they actually model them. They, they look really, really accurate, which is cool. I do love the MSI graphics cards, though. They do look so cool. And all it has to do is turn on missing cable. Oh. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it would. If uh, the graphics card is not plugged in, then that's going to be a problem. There we go. Now it should be able to boot and it does play that so we will go ahead and pop the front case back on oh no i do not need to pop that back on install oh i didn't know that you could do that uh, nope install the pcie lock or the pci lock whichever i think it's actually pcie but whichever we'll go ahead and screw these in and that one says leave it by the door so that's where we're going to take it and then we'll pick that one up and get it rolling. Woo! Let's go ahead and take off the side. Actually, no, I don't need to take off the side. I need to take off the back panel. This one is in the back just because it is a hard drive. It will go right in here. Install storage, the one terabyte right in there. You do have to hook up the cables. Can't forget cables. And I wish you could kind of cable manage but you can't, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and plop that back in there. We'll install the back side panel back on. And screw it in good and tight there. Go ahead and check and see if it boots up, which it should. Yep, and now we can leave it by the door. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Not too bad, not too bad for one day. Um, I will go ahead and collect and see what our next journey may be. We'll go ahead and do it from here. Collect, discard, collect, collect, discard. Nope, collect and discard. 
So this guy, let's see, R Wiseman at the Wiseman Doctor Dot Biz wants us to. Ooh, we got new parts. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, R9370 and the Ryzen 3 Quad Core. Nice. Uh, so this guy wants us to upgrade to 8 gigs of RAM, clean out all the dust, and run 3D Mark. Easy. Uh, this guy just wants us to remove all the viruses, which is cake. And then this guy wants us to replace the RAM, so I don't know which one he has. But whenever it comes in, then I should just be able to switch it out. No problem. I'll go ahead and accept all those so they can be in transit for the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Uh, kind of simple just getting everything done oh yeah empty workbench um, I, I am level 3 but I'm not going to open this up just yet uh, I can and I would kind of go into debt but this should technically get me out of it 200, 110, 270 uh, it, uh, it would barely get me out of it so I'm not going to worry about it just yet uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy if so don't forget to let me know by leaving a like if you're new don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for future videos and I will catch you guys in the next one